Hey guys, it is Patrick. And before you dive into this intermediate accounting lesson, I wanted you to know that you can actually download the notes for this section and specifically this lesson that you're about to watch if you head to my website at www.patrickleemsa.com or you can head over to the description link that's below and I'll put that link to those notes below where you can find them, download them, and print them, and follow along as you watch this lesson. So go do that, and here is your intermediate accounting lesson. All right, we are getting into the end of section one. We're almost there. The last part of this has to do with disclosure. So in disclosure, this is kind of one of the most important aspects in my mind to the financial statement. Now, the financial statements are usually easy to read. They're the main part of a company's annual report. But at the end of the day, it, that's just a report that's printed out. And there's really no context to the financial statement itself. This is where disclosures come into play. Disclosures help us understand what went on in the financial statement. So they give us a little bit more color to what occurred in the financial statement. So they're an important part of a financial statement. And there's different ways that we can disclose information to a decision maker on the financial statement that um, will help them make a better decision because they have better understanding of the numbers that are in those financial statements. So in this lesson here, we're taking a look at the disclosures and some of the ways that we can make disclosures within the financial statement. So let's take a look here. Disclosures in a financial statement give color on what was reported on the financial statement. Numbers are important, but they only tell half the story. If we see that revenue is $45,000, well, what does that mean against last year when we had 90,000 or the year before we had 150,000? What gives with a 45,000 sales this year when it was higher in previous years? So it gives us a little bit more color and story to what's happening with the books. Now, information provided as disclosures can be accomplished in one of three ways. So how can we give disclosures of the financial statement? Well, there's three ways that we can do it. The first way is using parenthetical comments or modifying comments. And we'll show you those here in a minute. The second way is you, we can use something called a disclosure note. And the last way here is we can use a supplemental, a supplemental schedule or table. So let's take a look at the first one here, parenthetical comments or modifying co um, comments. So these are placed on the face of the financial statement. So when you're looking at the financial statement, a parenthetical comment or a modifying comment would occur right on the financial statement. So this is an example of the income statement for this company and where we can see these parenthetical comments are right here. And they're small, but they basically tell us that these numbers are not hundreds of dollars, but instead they are millions or thousands or millions of pounds or pounds. This happens to be, I think, UPS because it says pounds and weight and shipping. Um, but this gives us a little bit more color of what's going on. Oh, it's not 2,384, it's $2 billion, $384 million. The next type of uh, disclosure is the disclosure note. This conveys additional insight about a company's operations, accounting principles, contractual agreements, and pending litigation. So in this here, we've got a note here. This would be a disclosure note that follows the financial statement. In this note one, which is the same for any public accounting financial statement or public company financial statement, is the summary of accounting policies. What this tells you is what policies did they use from an accounting perspective for the uh, preparation of their financial statement. So for instance, uh, this uses estimates. We know that they use estimates because depreciation is an estimate. So they're letting their users know that there are estimates. And they're also letting their users that we uh, users know that they are using US GAAP. Okay, so they're using US GAAP to prepare their financial statement. So it gives us more color on what rules and what things they're doing to prepare their financial statements. Lastly is a supplemental schedule or table. This is reports more detailed information that is not on the normal financial statement. On the financial statement, sometimes we will collapse accounts into one account um, just so that we don't clutter up the income statement or the balance sheet or the statement of cash flows. Um, but maybe 
maybe we want to show the details of what's within that account. Well, we're going to do that in the disclosure note, and we're going to do that using a table. So for instance, if we think about this table here on the balance sheet, it's going to have assets or PP&E at $18 billion, $18.8 .8 billion. But it's not going to show the detail of what that makeup looks like. And so therefore, if you go to note three of UPS's disclosure notes, you're going to find that that $18.8 .8 billion of assets would be broken up as follows. $8.6 billion is going to be in their trucks or their vehicles. $15 billion will be in their airplanes. Land covers $1.4 billion. Building is $3.4 billion. And so on and so on and so on. So this breaks up the detail of that one item, one line item number that's on the balance sheet. So these are tables and they're super effective in conveying the details to the financial statement. So that is a look at disclosure concepts. Again, the important part here is to understand the importance of disclosures and ways that we can disclose certain information to give a little bit more color to the financial statement. So hope you enjoyed this lesson and we'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching this lesson. If you enjoy what you saw, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to write something in the comment section below, like, I don't know, what's your favorite superhero? If you are looking for the next intermediate accounting lesson, make sure you click on this button right over here. And if you want to head to my website and see all of the lessons that are available, make sure you head to my website right here. Until next time, we'll see you in the next video.